I had um, just recently put together a YouTube video that was talking about the five like most important tips for the game. Um, and so the last tip was about the most crucial part, which is pathing. Um, but I had also explained that it's impossible to explain to you how to go about doing pathing because the maps and the situations vary so greatly, but I wanted to at least do like one example of this. I actually may do a couple examples of this. There's a few things I want to lay out for you guys getting started. So this is the exact point after beating the glittering mines. So, um, this whole guide is to be helpful for wherever you are in the game in terms of playing apprentice journeyman or masters it's it doesn't matter what level you're playing it on um you can do this and it's like it doesn't dep depend on what level you are because the 15 rounds occurs at all levels and it's the most important part of the game the only differentiating factor is that chaos happens quicker but i'm going to talk about that at the second in a second but you only have to contend with you know every eight rounds chaos happens on apprentice six for journeymen and then four for masters but there's one big like goal i should say an accomplishment that you want to hit um in act one before you get out of the glittering mines and that's to make sure that you have no chaos on your timeline that's the one main thing that you want to hit so this is a master's game, so it shows that I have no chaos on my timeline. Um, so I'm going to throw up some notes here real quick. And I will hide this here in a second. But pretty much what you want to do is make sure you remove all chaos um, before or when starting after glittering lines. Okay, so now what are your goals? And I talked about this in the video. I'll just recap this real quick. Um, there's going to be five towns. So there's two in Parid. Or I just, I'm sorry, in the Golden Plains. There's two in either the Poison Bog our burning forest and then there's another one in the rogue isles and then in each biome so that is the golden plains the poison bog slash burning forest and the rogue isles there's a mini there's a mini dungeon a piece so three mini dungeons so what your goal is is to unlock four quests and do two mini dungeons in the 15 rounds. Now, there's a few key items and um, yeah, there's a few key items and tricks that you can do to path fast path quickly and be able to see some stuff so the key items are um teleport scroll um portal scroll there's a boat which takes 90 gold now Actually, I'm going to save this one for last, but then the other one is called Dungeon Poles. I'll explain Dungeon Poles in a second. What that means is if you're um, in, like, the Golden Plains and you find the Catacombs and all three of your guys are there, it'll pull all of them together. Now, there's another one, but I'm actually not going to utilize this even if I can, and it's called um, Alluring Pools. But that takes lore. And I always like to try to do this as best as I can from a perspective of also a beginner too. So my assumption is, is you don't 
have access to alerting pools. So I'm not going to use them, even if they're beneficial for me. Um, now, there's one other thing that doesn't have to do with being able to travel, but it's called vision scrolls. I use those at times if I'm like, don't have much time left um, to be able to find something that I haven't been able to find so I can path it quicker. Um, so those are the, the key components to things that you need or may want to have. Um, so again, for those of you watching the VOD, you can just pause this or whatever, but I'm going to minimize this so we don't have this in the way for the rest of the, for the rest of the game. Okay. Now you should almost always get 90 gold, um, after leaving glittering mines. So right now I have 124, which means I can purchase a boat. Now the scrolls though is the RNG part. So yes, you could buy them. I don't recommend buying them. Um, but I was able to get, now I used one of the teleport scrolls in act one. I'm not going to go into right here. Why? But I was able to get one teleport scroll, scroll, one portal scroll, and I have two vision scrolls. You can see that on my um, scholar. So we'll see how I use those. Now let's let's look at the map itself. I actually like this map as an example because I got stuck with the glittering mines as far to the edge as possible. With then Prid being about as far to the other side of the Golden Plains. On top of it, too, I have a body of water to the north. And I have a body of water to the south. Which means it's very hard for me to even know ro where the rogue isles are. So if I choose to take a boat, like to the south it may actually be to the north and vice versa. So I don't know until I go to Parid and it kind of tells me, it'll actually kind of zoom to the general location of where that's at. So don't forget in the timeline up above, sorry, I don't have a cursor to point it to you, but technically that's 15 rounds. So where I'm at right now is in the middle of the night. When it gets to the middle of the night again, that's when the refresh occurs. Um, I explained it in the video why that makes a difference. I'll explain it real quickly. If you unlock a side quest prior to the refresh, there'll be level four camps. If you do it afterwards, there'll be level six camps. Way more difficult. The dungeons, if you find them in within the 15 round refresh, they're level three, but you have to fight them. If you don't, then they will turn into level five, um, after the refresh. So again, you want to unlock four camps and complete two mini dungeons. But perfect would be five camps, three mini dungeons. So what I'm going to try to do is actually hit the perfect. Um, and again, I have no chaos to worry about during this time because I did really good in Act 1. Okay, so now that we've laid all that out, I've got my trapper, Riney, who's um, first. Um, it's what do I want to do from here? Now, what I generally want to do is my high intel is I typically like to teleport that person to Pared. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to teleport that far on the first on the first chance. That's pretty far away, and I don't think I can get that far. Now, you may say portal scroll. I don't like to portal scroll right away. The reasoning for that is, is I like to use the mini dungeons to pull everyone together. And then if I need to get to a port or something, I can scatter everyone out. The mini dungeon pulls everyone together. And then what, it, what I do is then portal scroll myself to like a port or something like that to go to the boat to then go somewhere else. Um... But all this can change drastically depending on what happens because I can't see everything. Um, the other thing that keep in mind too is if I get my scholar over here, unlock Parade, I could probably just run to Castle Vaker real quick and actually unlock that one too. 
So I can probably get two pretty easily. Now it's, do I walk the other two guys into the Golden Plains? Or do I take a chance and get a boat? Now, I made to do something where I don't actually think it's going to be that risky. But what I'm likely going to do is I'm going to dump actually what I am going to do is I'm going to dump 90 gold to my trapper I'm going to get the boat up here and then if I'm going down this shoreline and I pick up my hobo at some point what I can do is if for some reason I know that the Rogue Isles are to the south. I can go into this port here, pick up my boat, get the mini dungeon to pull me, and then go on the south end later. Oh, and I found the fresh grave. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start playing this out. And the one thing, uh, if you guys watch my video um, where I talked about is I'm actually not going to pick up party. Um, Because I'm actually going to... I could cheat a little bit and actually have the hobo not heal up at the camp, but I'm going to play this like I'm playing this legitly because I don't want to waste extra gold. So I actually do want to use the camp for um, the hobo. Even though I could cheat and just pull them because I'm just trying to show you guys I can do this. Um, but I wouldn't just be reckless just to be reckless. Um, okay. So the other thing is to um, pay attention to some of the herbs you have. I have a dancing nettle, so I can give that over to Brillo, knowing if I need to move further, I can. So let's just test something. Do a teleport scroll. So use it. Can't get far enough. Okay. So it's fine. I will run and what you can always do is keep testing if eventually that you can teleport scroll now this is definitely risky with how far away this is but i'm probably going to maybe waste three browns doing this but i've got to unlock parid and i don't want to waste my portal scroll because that's not even going to help anyways um i could potentially put him on the boat too and move him over closer um maybe a little bit faster so that's actually an option but I'm just opting not to do that. And you're welcome, Logan. If you have any other questions, by the way, you can ask them. Um, I have no problem. I'll answer any questions while I'm sitting here. And the cool thing is, I can pick up my hobo. And then start venturing out. Yeah, and lucky watch, I'm just going to die from sharks and stuff. That'd be kind of hilarious, actually. Oh, great. I'm going to get rolls like that. Um, actually want to land here on the night market. See if there's anything worthwhile to buy. Um, Goblin staff money end game weapon buy it don't think about it so why you almost always want to check out night markets um again checking the teleport scroll see where i can land now what i could do if i really wanted to is you can actually move for further in the golden plains i could just use a dancing nettle now but i'm not going to I may need that for if I'm in the poison bog. Now I want to make sure I don't pick up my party. Because I don't want to pick up my scholar. I probably, now that I think about it, I probably could have there. Moved them a little bit closer. And I actually will right here. 
Okay. So actually, this should get him close enough, I would assume so. And the poison box actually a little bit closer. What's your question, Verblox? Bring it. Why well, have to step off the boat? <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is pop over on the back side of this and see right there, Devil's Wharf is actually now to the south. Um, so I definitely want to pull my boat in. So you guys will see what I'm going to do with a dungeon pull here. But what we want to do is unlock this. Mine Lord, which is crypt. That's a bad spot for Lich's crypt. Oh, the forgotten cellar in the poison bog is terrible, but <laughs> not. It's just a side deal right there. This is to talk about. Um, how does what make me feel? I probably so. This is habit. I probably don't need to be looking at weapons and stuff like that. There, It's good to do. Well, if I had some... Um, if I had some more gold, but I just don't. Um, like, the Vulge would be nice, but I only have 19 gold because I got the... Um, because I ended up buying the boat. So, there's only a handful of items... Um, there's only two in particular that I would retrieve. That's Boots of Might and um, uh, Goat Wizard Staff. So that's all I'm checking out there. But So what we have here is, just like I said, you've got a level 4 camp. If the 15-round if the refresh occurred, then that wouldn't be the case. Um, it would be at level six. So now what I'm going to do is do exactly like I was talking about. Um, I'm going to reclaim the ship. Then start trying to explore. market again there's nothing I don't really have the gold to buy much but um, item nope second one I just unlocked okay so now just in case I can dance and nettle my way out of here to where I'm actually in the golden plains already so now, what I have is myself already prepped and ready to go if for some reason I stumble onto catacombs. The other thing is too, I don't worry about the cult device now. If I have an unlucky death, then I don't want to worry about it. Okay, found the catacombs. Um, now, the cool part is here, I can just go ahead, hit one focus point, just go straight into this thing. Okay, so now, catacombs done. Um, let's see here. I saw the gold sanctum, so I actually don't want him to get the haste. Um, I actually see the the wisdom sanctum. I'm actually going to pass right over this one. 
Um, because I've got two of the other really good ones for the other heroes. So item, nope, reduce chaos. So I've already done three towns and we're maybe halfway through. Um, I will say that this has lined up a little well for me. Um, Um, I mean, I definitely need an upgraded weapon with him. <sighs> kind of want to, I wish I had a rush weapon. Um, so again, I'm probably not going to worry about this stuff too much, just, but I should be looking to upgrade some of these weapons, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to path, um, a little bit, but I don't think I've seen a rush weapon in here. And with the, the refresh another one could potentially pop up. Um, so there's that too. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's a Can't see if there's another port down here at all. I actually think it's going to make the most sense to go towards Parid and do this. I could do that, but eh. Well, that's kind of nice to be able to just find that. <laughs> well, just being across the way. So again, those are alluring pools. Those will help me go from spot to spot. Um, do I need him to heal? He's actually the best candidate? No, he's not. I'll leave it for um, the hobo. This so I can actually pick up my hobo. Um, If I move a couple over, I'm actually not going to gain anything from that. And I can likely just stay right there. Okay. So I'll pick up the party. Go into Devil's War. the reduced chaos then I'll check to see what else is in the market see if there's anything worthwhile to get nothing good here either which kind of sucks um, probably what I should do is um, pipe up I also want um, my intel to do that as well, too. I think right now I should probably get a couple of these. Um, and 
And then what I'm going to be looking for to do here is to find the mini dungeon. Uh, you definitely want to do pearl diving. Because giving a precious pearl is huge. Again, I'm not going to use alluring pools. Hey, Verbalix. Okay, what's your other question? Uh, it's a blackberry bubbly. Okay, so now I found the other dark cave. And, like, keep in mind, I don't that's, I do have a little bit of time. If I needed to, like, heal up or something, I could do that. But, again, I'm doing pretty well. So, um, I could probably go ahead and do it. The only thing is my weapons are kind of, eh. Um, I could always come back to this. So now, I've hit my goal. So, what we were talking about earlier is unlock four quests in too many dungeons. I've already done that. And I've got room to spare. Um... Okay, so now, the one thing that I can do is, I know I have about six rounds. Um, I actually do likely want to go get that. Actually, I probably don't need to get that Sanctum right now. The only bad thing is about not getting the Sanctum now is I won't get the Gold Multiplier. Um... And it's a little risky to go over here. Um, I will waste some time by doing it. And I probably should heal up. And even pipe up. So. I've decided I'm just not going to chance it. Uh, mark it. Again want to definitely start buying some other stuff here. Um, at least one more panics. And spread that out. Always make sure you're balancing your stuff. And then he can just end his turn. So I have somewhere around uh, five rounds left to do what I would say is cap the best, which is do the third mini dungeon and unlock the fifth one. So I've already done what my goal was set out to be. Um, and again, this is on Masters, and I cleared um, the Chaos Timeline for the first act. Um, so that's, that's definitely... Um, like, I'm already in great shape. And this usually means that I'll win the game. And I, I don't say that... I mean, it may sound cocky, but it's just the truth. If I'm able to be really successful um, in this 15-round refresh, um, I almost never... I don't know if I've ever lost the game um, after, like, perfectly doing the 15-round refresh. That's how important it is. So now, get everyone healed up. So what I'm gonna do here is grab the best sanctum in the game for your scholar.
And... <laughs> yeah, when you're successful, you tend to win the game. That is totally true. And so, item? Oh. Okay. So, yes. We'll just do that. Goat Wizard's Tap is pretty much the best weapon you can get. Um, it's the second best weapon in Act 2. So if I had that, if I had a rush weapon, now the other big thing is, um, if I look at the market here. No, wah, wah, that's okay. Um, now, I hate the poison bog, totally. So, I have no problem, I don't worry about being able to sell stuff at the end of the game. Um, Pretty much what I want to do is reveal all this stuff. There's the catacombs. And everything unlocked. So. This is... pretty much a huge success. Now remember, I have to attack the catacombs um, before the refresh occurs. And I have cult devices I have not um, used yet. So if I get into a bind where I absolutely have to like do it for um, a chaos camp, I want to keep them there as long as possible, just in case I die. Um, I also can attack um, this Warlock Volcano. Um, I wish I had a Teleport Scroll, because I probably um, would run to get the Goat Wizard Staff. Actually, what? There's something I want to see real quick. Ideally, I want that Goat Wizard Staff to um, use to attack. And I forgot to found the Forgotten Cellar, too. Um, so that's kind of the unfortunate... That's why I hate the Poison Bog so much. Um, so... I could just do this. Attack. Um... I mean, so I do have a tendency to do things a little bit more um, liberally in this game, but let's let's just do this. I don't care about getting extra gold at the end of the game. I want to make things as easy as humanly possible. Um, he was the one. Hold on. I want to make sure he got the sealed scroll. Okay. So I'm literally going to use a portal scroll because... That's how much I value getting upgraded weapons. Plus, on top of it, too, we can attack this camp if we wanted to right after this. Um, so I go like this. Equip. Sure, I'll tribute it, too. Let's get the focus. Let's go back in the portal scroll. Whee! go in here let's enter the party and absolutely dominate them that's how you destroy this game seriously i am completely set up to easily just crush the rest of this game um i can still get the gold multiplier um, cause I can venture over there now and get it. Um, I do have my boat sitting over there, so I'll have to go back, um, and get it. And so, like, so ultimately, um, because I have my boat sitting there, what I would do is enter the portal leave and my turn
in my turn. And I can go right into this uh, Chaos Henchman's camp right away. And I'm just doing this as extra. So I've unlocked every side quest. I have done all three catacombs. And now it's just about eliminating chaos. So now I have four level four camps that I can reduce up to four chaos. I also have the three quests to remove chaos. I have all three cult devices left to I can remove a scourge if I have a really bad death I can end up getting a life back or I have a fountain of life if I absolutely need it so I have all this backup so I could play this camp poorly I'm gonna attack it but now that I have these really good weapons um, I shouldn't have an issue with it oh that confuse sucks um, so a lot of times I like to go after the Chaos Henchman, but um, I'm likely not going to kill him. So if I can get really lucky here, could have killed him in one strike. Now what I could do is just target group, kill the Chaos Soldier there. So hopefully he just attacks. Didn't hit anything. So I can kill this Chaos Henchman now. <laughs> Puts on a hook sword, which is fantastic. Now, even with these really, really good weapons, you notice something here is that this camp isn't exactly that easy either with all these upgraded weapons and at level four imagine if it's at level six that's much hard that's how much harder it is and now i'm good to go in this game and i can just pick up my boat pick up the rest of my guys and do whatever i need to do so that's pretty much how you how you do pathing in the 15 rounds. I still have at least two more full rounds until the refresh occurs. And I've done everything and I've taken out a chaos camp. And this game is a victory now. I guarantee it. There's no way I lose this. Um, with all the cult devices I have for lives just in case I make a mistake for the fountain of life. I'm good to go. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you guys have any further questions, go ahead and put them in the Discord, and I'd be happy to answer them. You guys have a good rest of your day. Talk to you later. Bye.